Workmanlike performance by Iowa on Saturday as the Hawkeyes dominated, beating Maryland 23 to nothing on homecoming. The kicking game was a big strength in some tough conditions yesterday, but Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso tells us why it didn't come as much a surprise to head coach Kirk Ferentz and company as their veteran Iowa place kicker came through once again. I don't know if anything will ever match the pinstripe bowl. I don't think, I mean, it, it, I'd be, it'd be very hard pressed, but I would say it was one of the harder games I've kicked in for sure. Iowa kicker Miguel Racinos looked right at home in the tough conditions on Saturday. I can't say enough about our, our special teams, especially our specialists. Even as stiff autumn winds created a chaotic scene at Kinnick Stadium. You want to really just do as slight of adjustments as, as possible so it still feels like within your comfort zone type of thing. Racinos nailed three field goals in gusty conditions. Kirk Ferentz says having a kicker who's played in all kinds of weather was huge for the Hawks. That's one of the nice things about having a senior guy or an experienced player back there and he's both so I think I think it's a big part, but he's just he's worked hard and he's mentally tough. He's fought through the, the tough things. Racino says the key to kicking in poor conditions is preparation, getting out early, getting your kicks in and then telling the coaches exactly where your field goal range is going to be for that contest. When I went out there, I just hit like probably five or six balls just to hit them. So, you know, I felt good about it and, and I knew that if I just got good contact on it, I'd give myself a shot. It also helps to have a trusted holder like Colton Rastetter, who acts as Racino's caddy. It's one of those things where, you know, I go out there with an idea, but if his idea is different, most of the time I defer to his judgment. You know, today when he was calling it out, I basically just went with what he called. Since starting the season four of seven, Racino's has hit on his last six field goals. That right leg could be absolutely huge with some tough games looming for the Hawks beginning next week at Penn State. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters.